What you got there? Well, I just got some leftovers from the cafeteria to bring it upstairs. Me and Iris have lunch every Tuesday. Hey guys, yeah, to okay. the 13th, I have a gotcha. conference call at 1. What'd you guys do for lunch? Just stopped in the cafeteria. What'd you get? It's got a wrap. Thanks. It was, it was actually not that bad. Yeah, okay. Right, right, right. Sounds good. See you guys. See ya. All right, here we are, 13th floor. Um, this is where, you know, all of our analysts and managers work. So I take you right through, follow me. All glass right here, very open floor design. Um, trying to free up some more space in the future. So it's kind of empty right now, which means everyone's hard at work. Down there, we have the trading floor. And up top is where our shareholders meet. Um, follow me. So the swarm conference room here, so I think they're in the middle of a meeting. It's gone. How's it going, guys? Adam, Iris? Hey. Hi, Nick. So, uh, Iris, no, you're just wearing sneakers there. Mm. I'm just getting insulted by this. Our fidelity here, we care more about our customers and works rather than the small things like proper clothing. Yeah, so sneaker is fine. Okay, here we are. This is the client floor. So we have all of our shareholders come in, show them around. It's a lot fancier than the rest of the office. So, you know, we got a crystal cube right here. It's pretty nice. Um, anyway, so a little bit of history around here. So, 1946, Fidelity was founded by Edward C. Johnson. So, he came from Puritan ancestors and really respected the values, you know, of compassion, trust, responsibility, and, you know, took that over to Fidelity. In fact, I don't know if you knew this, Fidelity means trust in Latin. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, we take that seriously here. When I came into the office today, I saw that Jonah brought cookies. It completely made my day. Jonah tends to do this when we get really stressed at the end of our quarter. Everyone on the team has a sweet tooth. There you have it. Here at Fidelity, we have a very diverse team, and everyone on our team has very strong opinions about their own particular stocks, so sometimes this leads to our meetings getting rather heated. Um, however, we've been working together for over 10 years now, and we're all working toward a particular goal, so things tend to get resolved. All right, so we're about to head into a meeting. I'm a little late, but let's go. All right, guys, sorry I'm late. Um, Michelle, you want to get started? Sure. Thanks. Just a quick update on what we did this morning regarding the healthcare sector. I purchased 10,000 shares of Pfizer at $40 per share. Gabriel reported that the price dropped so quickly, so we put in a buy order. Pfizer's quarterly earnings have significantly increased, and I think this decision will lead to a sizable net profit. Questions? Yeah, have you met with Pfizer recently? I know Adam has a call with them later this week. I used to have trouble speaking publicly in those meetings, but it really is just about uh, come together and talk about accomplishments, super helpful stuff. Uh, but it's also about going back and forth between being independent and working in a group. Everyone is always running back and forth to each other's office, sharing new potential ideas for investment. Um, we all lie and need to learn out loud with a mutual respect for each other. Hey, do you have a minute? Yeah. I want to talk to you about a new stock that I think we should uh, invest in for this quarter. I want to take a look at my research. Yeah, I'm going to take a look. Okay. Um, what made you come to this decision? Anything that's going to affect this quarter's sales? Yeah, I definitely think um, profits would decrease this quarter, but through my research next fall, uh, there will be a dramatic uh, increase. Okay, awesome. You know, I'm going to defer to you on this one. Uh, why don't you go to the, the news to the trading floor? <laughs> Sounds good, thanks. Yeah. I've never been in a position before where my boss has uh, full trust in me to make the best decision. Do I think it's a high pressure environment? Sure, depending on how you manage stress, I guess. Um, but it's all about the balance, you know, the awareness, um, having a personal responsibility to do good for not just yourself, but for the company as a whole. Uh, hey Adam, uh, Nick gave me the, the okay. You can send this to the trading floor. Right, sounds good. 
Oh, hey, uh, are you going to the team dinner today? Uh, yeah, it's at Bon Chan at five, right? Yeah. Okay, sounds good, see you there. Gabrielle is young and new to Fidelity. So far, she's been on top of her work. Uh, our manager, Nick, always trusts our new employees to uh, you know, make decisions in the best interest of our company. Do I think she'll make mistakes along the way? Sure, but that's just like the only way she'll learn. Um, it's all about making mistakes and learning from them. All right, so a little less detail before we wrap this up. Um, whatever you go with Fidelity, whatever office, it's gonna have the same culture no matter what. And that's a great thing, all of our employees love that. Um, so right here, I got a little plate full of cookies. Teams looked like they had a long day, so I'm gonna go home and surprise them. Let's go.